Hey, what's going on? See, we got some snow. Look at this. This looks like a gnome house right here. See that? See, I used to play this game with myself. I'd take like, like I could take this bottle, for instance, put a $5 bill in it, push it up in there, come back in a year, see if it's still in there. Ah, it's a ninja, ninja game. Like even when they say, like uh, when people practice Tai Chi, it's described as playing Tai Chi or like Wing Chun's uh, Chi Sao practice thing is the same thing. They consider it like a game that you play. Uh, out here, see it's like, you know, I'm looking, I don't know what I'm looking for when I go out, but it's almost in a way you got your bucket list in your head of things you're looking for. Uh, and then from prior experiences, you'll have things that you'll be always looking for anyway because you're familiar. Like I can see dandelions everywhere now uh, really quickly. But, you know, I got, you know, you got herbs or plants. You got wood. Wood, bark, nuts, and sap. Uh, you know, you got you got flowers, but you also got certain roots of certain plants is what you're actually looking for. So, yeah, and then in the meantime, if I run across any cool feathers, I'll pick them up. So that's a that's a rule that's already established. And it's like the longer you play it. It's almost like the more complex, like, uh, the rules will evolve and it'll become more complex. You'll be doing more, uh, by doing the same thing. It's kind of like having a handicap. Once you get so good at something, you, uh, you give your com competition, um, uh, kind of like, uh, like you, you grant them points. Like if you were playing 21, you'd grant them 10 points because for a handicap because you're so much better than them. In a way, you impose these self-handicaps on yourself where it's like, in the process of doing this, I'm also on the side doing this at the same time. Uh, you know, uh, so in the process of one thing, you might get as consolation prize a couple of the other. Like, you know, as I went looking for uh, one thing and ended up actually stumbling upon another. Like looking for a flower and then walked by a tree that had a sap deposit on it. You know, that I could extract and uh, add to my collection. Uh, or uh, same thing with plants. New plant haven't seen before freaking uh snag it up uh and then you know scratch scratch them off the bucket list in a way your 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 foraging bucket list uh you know finding new like nuts wild nuts uh you see like uh yeah here's another one of these mullions these right here these can be used as a, a breath treatment or lung treatment. Uh, it also can be uh, made into like skin oil. It has some kind of uh, helpful, helpful medicinal effect on skin. And you know, skin's the lar largest organ of your body. And, and, it, and it would seem logical to me that you could absorb certain whoa look at all them whoa that made me dizzy uh you could through the skin you can absorb in a different way different substances like some i heard these guys say during the black ages and the or the dark ages the plague that none of the amber workers uh came down with the plague like from handling the the saps and being out in that environment that were doing that work there that it gave them an immunity to the plague somehow. 
like it was some kind of supplementation. There's another basket. Yeah, I don't even know how this thing works yet. Uh, so, well, what is this? These might be dogwoods. Just look this up. Day. I'm not sure though. Could be wrong on that. Anyway, yeah, still, it's it's like uh, uh, look at that. uh, yeah, you got things on the list that you know that you're trying to. In a way, it's your herbal, your foraging bucket list. And you got to keep it in the back of your mind. The only way you do that is you increase your awareness by studying, researching. You know, looking up stuff on top of what you already know. Like, and, and, and the thing about it is, it's like, look, to make a habit and routine, somewhat of a habit and a routine out of doing stuff over a long period of time is really how you, you advance in things. It's not doing a lot of stuff really quick. I mean, even though sometimes you can't do stuff like that, like veg out on a certain subject and really like bump up for a day on that but eventually you're gonna have to just freaking uh, decompress uh, for a minute before it really sinks in anyway so you can't really force yourself to learn quicker it's it takes time so you know once you make the decision then you gotta have the will to sacrifice the time necessary to get better at it uh, to kind of it's like a plant or a garden itself. It's like a process that you gotta Continually monitor and prune Assist where you can but don't overly interfere. Oh look at this Had a Pretty cool color And, you know, it's just like look, a lot of it is just trial and error anyway. So you don't really set uh, a lot of plans and you just kind of go out and just uh, just navigate and then observe. And these things will kind of start to reveal themselves when you're not looking for them. You'll be kind of like just, you'll be doing something else. And then all of a sudden somehow it's like the thing jumps out and... Tugs your sleeve. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a good uh, habitat for mountain lion. Yeah, it's also, there's a hunt. Not only do I look for the medicinal purposes, but I also explore in industrial purposes as well. Like, uh, look, uh, making rope or somehow using it as a material for something else. That's another consolation of doing the one. Start to kind of, in the process, learn about others. And there's that whole Native American kind of philosophy of like, of not wasting stuff. And uh, it's also a ninja con concept to uh, see ordinary things and, and kind of explore all the possible uses of them in your head. Oh, yeah, those are, those are cool looking. I wonder what those are. I think they're those freaking loose strifes. That's funny. There's something called purple loose strife that just popped up. I don't. I don't recall seeing it everywhere before. Now all of a sudden it's like it's everywhere. And look, it's called loose strife. Like look, strife. Argue, fight, contend, uh, beef, argument, and uh. 
that's kind of like, you know, kind of see that out there these days. Everyone's divided and freaking self-righteous. And uh, everyone's got all the answers. Don't want to hear no one else. That's kind of like what strife is too right there. Kind of an unresolved injustice kind of thing that just is allowed to remain. Ooh, there's a little freaking little baby plant, little baby tree. Yeah, see, that's that's one way you can actually. It's easier to go spot a tree out in the wilderness that's a baby growing than just grab that freaking and transplant it. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, every time I don't bring a bag, I end up finding some sap. Yeah, sap collecting has turned out to be an awesome hobby, man. I really have went and become reacquainted with areas before that, you know, I thought like, I explored all of that. There, I've seen all there is to see there. And I've had to go look at it again and discover how much